Hello friends, welcome to HTML video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss CSS selectors and how they are useful. CSS selectors are used to select an HTML element or more than one HTML element and apply styles on them. There are three different style selectors we have that we use most commonly. They are tag selector, ID selector and class selectors. Let's have a demo. I go to start and then I say here notepad. I click on notepad. Then I say HTML opening tag, closing HTML tag. Then I write opening head tag and a closing head tag, opening body tag and a closing body tag. In between head section, I am going to write opening title tag and there I say CSS selectors demo closing title tag. I go to file, save as. I save the file with the name CSS S E L E C T O R S selectors demo.html. Both sides I put double quotations and save it at desktop. I right click on CSS selectors demo.html, open with the Firefox. You can see that the file got open and title is set to CSS selectors demo. In the body section, I am going to put some div elements. I am going to write opening div and closing div and then I am going to copy this div and paste it five times one two three four five so total six div elements we have if we want to apply styles on these div elements of course we have to use a style tag so here I am writing opening style tag and then I write closing style tag we know that style tag must and should be written in the head section it has an attribute called as type there we put the value text or CSS to indicate that whatever we write in between these style tags is going to be a normal text or CSS. We know that div tags are block level tags. They always put the content on new fresh line and they take the entire available width of the browser window. Now here I want to apply some styles on these div elements like I want to apply B A C K G R O G R O U N D background dash color pink. I want to apply the width of each div should be 100 pixel and height of each div should be 100 pixels that was my intention now I have listed here few style rules that I want to apply on these div tags now how do I tell to the system that I want to apply these styles to these div tags by using tag selector we are going to write the tag name so here I write a div then we use flower brackets to group more than one styles here you can see that I am telling to the browser that locate every div element. So this is a tag selector method. So I am writing the tag name. You can see that I am telling to the browser locate every div element, apply the background color pink on it, width of 100 pixel, height of 100 pixel. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see that there are many divs got created. We don't find any space in between. So what I do is I say margin. M A R G I N margin of 5 pixel. Then what happens is we find a margin around div elements. You can see we have 5 pixels uh, margin applied and we can see the space. This is an example for tag selector guys. So I indent a little bit. Okay. Now we understood what is tag selector. I hope you guys have understood. If you have many paragraphs and all you want to apply styles, you just need to write the tag name and uh, whatever the styles you want to apply on those. Uh, paragraphs or any HTML element group them in flower brackets. That's it quite simple. We might come across a situation where we want to uniquely identify an HTML element and apply style on it. For example, I want to apply a background color of red to this specific div element. How do I do that now? Is there a way for that? Yes, we have a way called as ID selector. We are going to use ID selector to identify uniquely an element and apply style on it. For example, to use ID selectors, we have to use ID attribute. So here I am going to use ID attribute and then we have to give value. I am going to say here div1. You can see I have given an ID attribute to this div1 to uniquely identify this div element from other div elements. Now, how do we apply a specific style on this div now. What we can do is we can use ID selector instead of writing the tag name. This time we have to write ID name div1. But before that we have to prefix hash sign. Hash symbol indicates that you are referring to an ID called div1. Now in brackets I am going to put 
here b a c k g r o u n d background dash color of red semicolon now what we are telling to the system is locate any tag which has an id attribute with the value div1 and apply the background color red if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that this div is set with the background color red and also you can see that it is having the width 100 pixel height 100 pixel margin also 5 pixel set the reason is already this div has done the operation lot of operation for us it has already created a width height margin it has set to this div and it has previously set the pink color but we have overwritten here down we want the background color to be red to this specific div one hope you guys are understanding similarly i want to apply some other color to this div i want to uniquely identify this div in css and apply some other color for example i can say here id and i can give a value maybe i can give div one but it is recommended that every id attribute value should be unique that means this is a problem what i do means i am going to write here two so these two are different values you can see now i can easily and uniquely identify these div elements file save this time what i do here i say div2 should have the background color b a c k g r o u n d background dash color maybe blue but i should write here hash sign hash must and should be written file save go to browser and refresh you can see that this div is now having the background color set to blue you can even specifically tell like locate a div element which has an id div2 you can prefix the tag name also like I, I am telling here locate a div element which has a id of div1 if i say file save go to browser refresh this also works perfectly there is no problem this is you are telling specifically okay now next thing is uh, there are there might be one more situation you get for example you want to apply these two div element should have a background color of uh, green or maybe these three should have a background color of green now how do you apply you can use the id tag there is no problem in that you can say id and you can uniquely say div3 this is going to be id and you can say div4 and this is going to have an id of div5 you can see now i can access these independently in css and apply the style for example i can copy this and paste it down and say locate a div which has a id div3 and apply the background color green on it if i say like that file save go to browser and refresh this got green color similarly i can copy that and paste it down and say locate a div element which has an id of div4 and apply the background color green file save go to browser and refresh you can see that similarly i can say one more time copy that and paste it down and say div5 should have green color background file save go to browser refresh this is also having a green color but you can see that we are repeatedly writing the same code again and again why can't we group these three div elements in one group and apply the styles on all of them at a time here comes the use of class selector to take help of class selectors we are going to write instead of id attribute we write class attribute so here i am going to write c l a w -S, s class here also i am going to write class it is not necessary that we have to give unique name um, we can use a same name for all these divs here what i do is i can say here green div class name or class values can be same there is no problem if you have same values now what happens all these divs are grouped in a class with the name green div so here what i do instead of writing all these i'm going to delete this and simply i say dot dot indicates class okay and i say here g r w -E and green div opening bracket closing bracket so green div is a name or value of a class attribute so we are telling locate every green div class and apply the background color background color here i am going to say now in this place maybe i say yellow semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that all these divs are set to yellow background color because all these divs have a class attribute with a value green div 
you can still specifically say by writing the div prefixing by the tag name so you are telling here to the browser that locate a div which has a class name or class value green div and set the background color to yellow and if i want i can set here green also no problem file save go to browser and refresh now you can see that all these are having the green color remember that tag selectors you can use to set the default styles you can use id selector to uniquely identify an html element and apply style on them you can use the class attribute to group set of html elements and apply styles on them and remember that when you are accessing the id attribute or a class attribute in css id attribute must and should be prefixed by the hash sign you can see and a class attribute value must and should be prefixed by the dot dot indicates the class okay hope you guys have understood how to use a tag selector how to use id selector how to use a class selector and how they are helpful in different situations so for this tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you to try with some other examples try using paragraphs try using uh, some other tags and apply different styles on them for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get more information on html and css for more benefits please subscribe and don't forget to like comment and share these videos keep learning keep coding keep sharing see you in the next tutorial guys thank you very much